Hello YouTube, today we're going to be talking about vectors and dot product. I'm um, just going to give a little demonstration here. Um, if you have a 3D coordinate plane and you have a vector um, in 3D, um, you could say it's going um, 2 in the 4 direction, but then uh, in the Z direction up 6. So you can draw that vector um, at the coordinate 2, 4, 6. And this, if you wanted to express it as a vector, you would put these um, kind of brackets behind it, or for the instead of parentheses, instead of expressing a point, you're expressing a vector, and that can be written as vector v. If you called that vector v, is two i plus four j plus six k. So instead of being x, y, and z coordinates to express it in vector, it's i, j, k, um, just kind of like in the alphabet that sequence in order. So let's talk about the magnitude of vector v. Um, so if you were given v vector, which was shown in that example. Um, which can also be written like that, 2, 4, 6, vector 2, 4, 6. Um, again, it's expressing it, you could say x, y, z, or i, j, k. Um, to express the magnitude, which kind of shows uh, like the force in which it's going in, you could say that's the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared, or i squared plus uh, k squared plus, excuse me, i, k, i squared plus j squared plus k squared. Um, either way, if you do that, uh, that's the formula, you simply plug in those values, so 2 squared plus 4 squared plus 6 squared gives you the square root of 56. Now that's the magnitude, that's kind of like the force, like how much uh, force is being put into the vector. Now if you wanted to convert this into a unit vector to make things a little bit more simple, although uh, like in direction, so it's kind of like 1, so you're showing like a simple direction, it's this way, this way, or that way, um, and to kind of point that out, it's simply your original vector over the magnitude of your vector. So you have your original vector and you simply divide it by your magnitude to get that unit vector. Now another way we can write this if we want to say, if we want to express this in terms um, as you sense a vector is the product of length and direction. One thing I'll get into the definition in a second, but to show that it's a product of length and direction or um, magnitude and direction, you simply multiply the two together. So you have your direction, which is uh, shown as the vector, times your magnitude as well. So now, again, definition. So vectors are something that with with both direction and magnitude. Now if you don't, if you can't visualize that, I'd recommend, or if you're having problems memorizing it, here's one way you'll never forget. Go on YouTube, type in um, Despicable Me Vector, and when he's first introduced the bad guy in Despicable Me, uh, the guy in the orange suit, he describes it why he's, his name is Vector, because he says something with both direction and magnitude. Oh yeah! Anyway, um, so an example of that would be velocity and force. You are going a certain direction uh, with a certain speed or force acquired to it. And again, um, the scalar version is just this, the magnitude, which would be the speed or the force applied, or ex like the speed, like how fast. It's a numerical thing. Um, so now if we have adding and subtracting vectors, just a little bit on that. So you can convert these into the uh, notation, the coordinate kind of notation. Um, and then if I were to say add the two vectors, what would it produce? Well, it's simply adding the components. This is pretty easy. Adding vectors is simply adding the components. So 3 plus 1 it would be 4, and 1 plus 5 would be 6. Now another way we could write that is in vector notation as well. And to give you an idea of what that looks graphically, uh, u is in purple, v is in uh, orange and the ad addition of both those vectors are in red. So you have both those vectors, you add them tail to tip. Tail meaning where it starts, tip means where it ends, and then when you start the new vector you start it at the tip or at the tail and then you go to the next tip and then you combine that and that's your combined vector. Um, so now if you want to subtract vectors, if I would say try, subtract twice of u minus the of v vector, well you simply input those values, so u is in uh, yellow and i is in orange, and since we're doing twice u, you have to distribute that and you'd get 6i plus 2j minus i minus 5j, I distributed the negative as well. And then you get your combined uh, vector when you subtract it. Now how does that look graphically? Well, first what you do is you do the first u, and then since there are two of them, you do it again, so I drew two u's there. And instead of adding the vector v, you would subtract it. But to show you how that works, um, you first show where it would be if you were to add it, and then you simply go uh, in the opposite direction when you subtract the vector. So a negative vector means just opposite direction. 
And then the red shows where those two uh, would kind of the overall direction of which the force or velocity or whatever is traveling. So that pretty much concludes adding and subtracting vectors, and um, we'll get into dot product and stuff later, but I uh, just thought I'd give share a little examples about uh, just vectors, scalars, and magnitude, and just kind of an intro to vectors here. Just thought it'd be a good thing to show uh, for later videos coming up.